Hey guys, this is Mark with At Tech, and as tech enthusiasts, we have a lot of stuff that's plugged into the outlets all around our homes. So much, in fact, that we may even need additional plugs. But have you ever considered if you should really unplug things that are not in use? Sure, they're not on, but are they taking any power and costing you more money on your electricity bill? Well, that's what I was wondering. So I set out to find a solution to whether you should unplug unused electronics. What I've got right here is a kilowatt P3. This will take a look at the voltage, amps, watts, and power usage of anything that's plugged into it. It will also even give you a live readout of the outlet on the other side, um, letting you know if it's working right, but we're gonna be looking at watts, seeing how much power consumption the device is plugged in is using. And if we see that number go up, and if it stays up, that means it is constantly using power even though it's not on. So I got several devices to test, so let's start off with an Apple power brick. So this is a MagSafe charger for a MacBook Air, and we just plugged it in and we saw a small jump right there, but it went right back down to zero. And I'll talk about why I think that small jump happened in a little bit, because we will see that again. But it goes back to zero and nothing happens until you actually plug in the computer. Then the power consumption goes up. Once you unplug the computer, it goes back down to zero. Next, we got a big fan. It looks like it would take lots of power even when it's off because it does have a memory of your settings. And when you unplug it, it doesn't keep that memory. So maybe it's using some power, but no, not even any jump at all when you plug it in. Next, I've got a Sony um, battery charger for my Atmos monitor. This does have lights on it. And when we plug it in, we do see a small jump and then we go back down to zero, even though the lights remain on in red, it still says it's not using any power. Now that is not actually true. It is using power, but just very, very little. Then it's not even 0.1 watts. So it's really not gonna make much of a difference at all. Next, we got a power brick. Maybe just seeing if that's gonna use anything, and it doesn't. And then we plug in a, um, a camera charger and that does have a light on it, but nothing. Still no use at all. So if your smartphone charger is in the wall, it's not going to take any juice. Next, we've got a laptop power supply. This has the, the power supply in it, as well as the charger. And on the other end, we do have a light. And plugging that in, we do see a little bit bigger of a jump up to one watt, but then it does go back down to zero. Now is as good a time as any to explain why I believe we are seeing that jump. Based on my limited college physics learning, I believe that that small jump right there is to charge the capacitors that are needed um, for the devices. So on my Atomos battery charger, that jump was probably to charge the capacitors for those lights. And same goes for the laptop power supply. Um, the power supply does have some capacitors in there that need to get charged. And that light on the end um, does not use a lot of power, but it does have a pretty big capacitor attached to it. If you unplug the power supply from the wall, that light will remain on for like 30 seconds. So that's what I believe that little jump there is, is it's just charging the capacitors and then once they're fully charged, it goes back down to zero. Now, how about bigger electronics? Let's plug in a monitor and see what happens. And we do see um, a pretty big jump actually, but then it does go back down to zero. The monitor is off, it is not in sleep mode. Again, it's probably just charging and then it goes back down to zero when it's full. And last but not least, we have our computer. This is a pretty big device and it does have a power supply, 430 watt power supply. The computer is completely off, obviously because it's not plugged in. But once we do plug it in, we see a giant jump and it stays constant. We are at a constant two watts around there of usage. So even though the computer is off, it does need a couple of functions to always be on, like the watch battery on the motherboard to make sure the time is correct, and ethernet in case I send a wake on LAN request, that always needs to be on. So those things do cause it to always take power. So should you unplug unused electronics? Well, only if they are big things that um, will be doing a lot of background tasks, like the computer. Smaller things like chargers and fans can stay in, but big things like computers, you may want to consider unplugging if you are not going to be using them that often. 
Well, that is all for this video. I hope this video helped you out, you found it interesting. If you did, be sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark, and I'll see you in the next one.